begin this segment on the shores of Lake Michigan in Ludington, where we are about to board the SS Badger and travel across Lake Michigan. The trip begins with our Road Trek e -Trek RV backing aboard the SS Badger, the largest car ferry steamship in the Great Lakes, measuring over 410 feet and able to hold 180 vehicles and 600 passengers. Our route would travel 60 miles in a straight line across Lake Michigan from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And then it's one of the very last of its type anywhere, the type that uh, was built originally to carry rail cars, but now we carry passenger automobiles, but we're a reciprocating steam, coal-fired vessel. There's only about two others or three others in the entire world. It's a very relaxing crossing where passengers are also entertained. We have two food areas. Okay, we're going to move on to game two. This will also be straight line. And we have um, bingo. Big shit for fun. Big shit for fun. Um, the kids have face painting. They have a place to um, play in the kids' port. There's an arcade. Um, there's satellite TV. So somebody still has to swab the decks, huh? Oh, yes. Well, swab those decks. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> we have staterooms that are authentic to the time period of 1953. And if you've never had a nap on a floating vessel such as the Badger, it is the best rest you will have. We were given a bow to stern tour of the big ship in consideration to be a national historic landmark. The two level vehicle hold takes cars, motorcycles, RVs, even truck semis. In the engine room, the massive steam engines run so smoothly you can balance a nickel on them. The yeah, SS Badger is the last large coal burning ship in North America. There's a few little teeny ones, but we're the last of the big ones. To really appreciate the size of Lake Michigan, you need to be in the middle of it. It fills the horizon as far as you can see in any direction. The only Great Lake entirely within the United States, touching the borders of four states. I was surprised how far out Verizon's 4G LTE cellular network worked. When we finally were out of range, the Badger's satellite-based Wi-Fi system kept us connected to the internet. As we approached the Wisconsin shore, our motorhome was driven onto the dock. Four hours from shore to shore, four relaxing, stress-free, very enjoyable hours. We were in a new state and ready for new adventures. And so we end this report in Manitowoc, Wisconsin after that 60-mile voyage across Lake Michigan. In our next segment, we'll follow the Lake Michigan shoreline through southern Wisconsin into Illinois and then Indiana. On the road for Verizon, road trucking across North America. I'm Mike Wendler. Thanks for watching.